the beginning of the year, there was an update on the uh, FEMP1 screen, which the software version was called F.06. Uh, and to check and see what, uh, what software version you're on, if you uh, go onto the launch pad, go to uh, service and diagnostics, cross to the, uh, to the second tab and, uh, and scroll down, is we're looking for this uh, this number here which will tell us what uh, our uh, our software version uh, is but uh, if we have a quick look then at what uh, some of the uh, some of the changes have uh, have been in the uh, with the software one is when uh, when you key on for the first time and uh, we'd be faced with uh, with this page here saying to uh, to work load our profiles is the uh, the last settings then gets a little uh, little tick mark little check mark there and here then we can see I've got some other other profiles in uh, in with this one but uh, the one with the uh, the check mark is the uh, is the last uh, the last settings the other one relates to then the uh, control of the screen so we got our uh, our a bu a b button around the uh, around the armrest and when we're pressing that one it's moving a little blue triangle which will appear but when the, it lands on the screen it just gives you a little bit more of a of a visual um, as to uh, as to which screen, so the little blue box appears around the screen and then goes to the uh, goes to the top right hand uh, hand corner. So it just helps you then notice which uh, which screen now is being controlled by the uh, by the main rotary dial. There's a uh, a little subtle change with the uh, onboard uh, computer or the onboard counters, uh, as we call. It. So we can hear, see it here then in uh, in my uh, 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 quick jump tile, or if I go to the launch pad. I can see it, uh, see it from the. Uh, we'll navigate to it from there, and it's just uh, with the uh, with the with it. Then it's just highlighting green. Then as to uh, which counter is uh, is active. So as soon as I turn it on, uh, active there. We can see then the uh, the box going uh, going green um, there. And then if I come back to uh, to the main screen, then as we can see, it'll be green up the up the top there. Um, as uh, as well, so it just gives me a subtle uh, indicator as to which uh, counter is uh, is running. When we're looking at the uh, armrest uh, assignment page, is, uh, is is they've just given us again another subtle change here, um, just to try and help highlight then which buttons can be uh, can be freely configured uh, off here. So it's giving us just a little bit more of the of the colouring that we would see on the uh, on the armrest. Um, itself. When we're in the guidance screen and we've got a, a way line, a new bit of information that we can find out is if I come to the uh, come to the settings of oh, there, and I've got a way line uh, loaded. We've got this uh, this info button, and it's from here then is we get the additional information of the of the heading uh, for it as uh, as well. When we've got a, uh, a coverage map, so here I've got a bit of a uh, bit of green painting in. When we come to uh, to delete that, is we get uh, get two new options. So we've always seen the uh, delete worked area of current field and uh, delete worked area of all fields, but now we get these uh, these two options here. So delete uh, worked area of uh, and tram lines of current field or delete worked area and tram lines of all fields. Now these uh, are two here, these two new ones are more in preparation for a feature which are called tram line control. Um, not sure when we'll uh, we'll see that, but uh, if we do press on uh, on one of them, then it will still uh, um, will still delete the uh, the coverage map for, from there, but uh, just seems to be a preparation for, uh, for something that's uh, coming in the future. In the service and diagnostics page, we get a little bit more uh, information for uh, for Isobus. So on the very end here, we get uh, an Isobus uh, tab there, so we can uh, delete object pools. Um, we can look at op deleting operating masks there. So at the moment, we've only got the uh, go tractor. Um, we can uh, start to uh, activate and uh, and bring in uh, screenshots of the of the universal terminal. Uh, from there and then also it gives us then is to what our uh, our control functions are as well so what's been a, a, a AES certified um, with the uh, with the with the machines uh, there when we're creating a, a headland sequence uh, if we've got the uh, the TI headland so the automatic turning is we get an additional sequence that we can add in 
to uh, to our headland um, in here. So if I tap on the uh, on the steering wheels, we get the uh, the addition of this option here, um, which is I could add that into my uh, into my overall headland sequence to uh, to perform a manual uh, turn of the uh, of the transit instead of it uh, turning automatically in relationship to a uh, to a boundary and, a, and a, an internal headland line. There is uh, add it into the sequence when I hit even my well I hit my end button then is wherever that's in the sequence then it will uh, it'll turn the tractor uh, whenever I tell it to. When we're looking at any of our uh, our steering settings for so sensitivity and wayline catch up is if we uh, if we go straight to the uh, to the very uh, maximum uh, of there it just gives us a, a change of the of the bar color just to highlight that we are uh, working to the extreme. When we're looking at our, our headland settings so we're looking at getting our uh, our go end sequences for our headland control to uh, get triggered by this line just to just to kind of help um, visualize as to what button we're uh, we're programming in these uh, we now get a new uh, additional uh, box here just showing us what uh, what buttons if I change that to uh, to sequence three uh, and then see now it's it's moved and telling me that it's on the uh, on the smaller of the uh, of the go buttons uh, in there, so just yeah, helping uh, know which uh, which button I'm uh, I'm programming uh, for that uh, for that particular automatic triggering. When we're in the uh, the universal page, universal terminal page, um, looking at our Icebus implement, we now get the uh, get the setting shortcut then to bring us round to our uh, our Isobus settings uh, that we'd ordinarily access from the uh, from the system setup